at you. You look so beautiful. I wish I had a real date. Wish I could find someone I actually liked. You have all the time in the world for that. My goal as the actress portraying Natalie was to honor her memory as best as possible. Um, so I read everything I could get my hands on, watched every interview multiple times. I think that Natalie's a free spirit. She's been described as a happy dreamer, very determined, very moral. I, I think that she really serves as a, a model to a lot of young women. I think I'm going to be fine. Well, I hope you have the best, best time. I will. Her cell phone. She doesn't have a with her. When you're an actor, you have to access a lot of different emotions and feelings. And usually, in most things you do, there'll be one or two scenes where you're kind of going to that place that's difficult to go to. I find this role is every day. I mean, it's just heartbreaking. Oh my God, she doesn't have a phone. She could be lying in an alley somewhere, hurt or or locked up in a room by a maniac hey, doing hey, God hey, knows hey, what to her. Listen to me, listen to me, hey. Jug's Natalie's stepfather. Jug's kind of like the anchor. He's uh, sometimes the voice of reason and, and sometimes a sounding board, but really he's the, he's the legs that they stand on. I'm a student at university in Holland, but this is the place to be in the summer, eh? I'm playing Joran van der Sloot. He's suspect number one because he was last seen with Natalie, him and his two friends, Deepak and Satish. Joran is a young man who Natalie meets at a club in Aruba. He represents the first person that Natalie's ever really been attracted to and attractive to. I've gone as close to him as I can, but then obviously we are telling a film and we have to sort of respect the script and you have to play what's in front of you as an actor, so. I read Beth's book, which was really helpful and very well written, and she's a real hero. I think that she's just a fascinating person and it's a fascinating story and it's, it has everything. It's sad and it's, um, but it's also very inspiring.